Up and about. Unraveling the meaning. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into a common English phrase, up and about. Understanding such phrases can greatly enhance your fluency and comprehension of everyday English. So, let's get started and explore what this phrase means and how you can use it in your daily conversations. The phrase, up and about, is typically used to describe someone who has recovered from an illness or injury and is now active again. It implies that the person is no longer bedridden or inactive due to their condition. This phrase can be a sign of relief or good news, indicating that someone is getting back to their normal life. For example, after her surgery, it took a few weeks before she was up and about again. I heard your brother was sick. Is he up and about now? Up and about isn't just limited to talking about health. It can also be used more broadly to describe someone who is active, busy, or simply out of bed and starting their day. This makes the phrase versatile in various contexts. Examples, on weekends, I'm rarely up and about before 10 a.m. He's been up and about since dawn, preparing for the event. While up and about is widely understood in English-speaking countries, it's interesting to note cultural variations. For instance, in British English, you might also hear up and around. The meanings are essentially the same, but such variations highlight the richness and diversity of the English language. That wraps up our exploration of the phrase up and about. Remember, Understanding such phrases not only enriches your vocabulary but also gives you insights into the culture and nuances of the English language. We hope this video has been helpful, and you're now more confident in using up and about in your conversations. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.